Okay guys, so um, this is gonna be another cubing video, but quick status update. At the time of this recording, the power at our house has literally just gone out. So I cannot even turn on this light. The monitor doesn't work, the lamp doesn't work, the TV doesn't work. So we'll be doing a review on this cube right here, which is a $9 budget cube by Moyu, the Artist 3M 2020 edition. A lot of people are hyping this cube so much. Um, some people are even deciding to prefer this cube over this cube, which is a $60 GAN 356XS. So we'll be taking a look at the differences and whether I'll be switching or not. So I actually did record my unboxing and you guys will see my unboxing um, in a couple seconds. Okay guys, so another short unboxing from Speed Cube Shop. This is the Cars 3M 2020 edition and some people say it's better than the GAN XS. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. I'm quite excited to see if this the uh, people are actually correct on this because um yeah, a lot of people are switching from the GAN XS to this as their main, so let's check it out. Thank you to Speed Cube Shop for sending me this order, and here we go. The first thing we get are 3x3 stickers, because I'm going to be replacing the logo on this. So let's go ahead and keep that on the side. And here it is, the RS3M 2020 edition. So they did actually change the packaging. The packaging used to be a sort of GAN box where you have like this lid thing and you just like slide it off like a GAN box. You can sort of imagine what I mean. But they changed it so you actually open it from the side now after they restocked. So anyway, here's the RS3M 2020 edition from Moyu. Um, I don't think there's any advances in the technology or cubing hardware, but it is the s successor of the MF3 RS3M and the MF3 RS2M, I think, was the really popular one. But the MF3 RS3M, the first one, wasn't as great as people wanted it to be. So they made another version, and apparently this one's obviously incredible. So let's, without further ado, check out what's inside of the box. So, okay, first thing we get, we see the cube itself, which is really nice. We have a cube stand, which is really nice as well. This is a Moyu cube stand. That's nice, we can display the cube like this an angle so that's really nice to have as well if you want to put it on your shelf here's the accessories box let's check out what's inside so one of the things that i found really unique about this puzzle is well it comes with a screwdriver that's standard but one of the unique things that um i thought about this puzzle it's only ten dollars on speedcubeshop.com and it comes with this which is a dual adjustment tool yeah exactly most cubes who have this are in the 30 or 40 or 50, 60 dollar price range. And then we get some pamphlets and some cards. So we got, is that, who's this? I don't, I don't, what the heck? Anton? I'm sorry, I don't really know this guy. Okay, here we go. This is the actual cube itself. Some people have been saying there are spring noises, so we're going to go ahead and check that out and see if there are any on my the most satisfying part of the uh, unboxing, guys, is this. Oh my. That, I don't know why. That's satisfying to me. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. The texture of this puzzle is definitely a frosted plastic, but it's a little grippier. You can see the tensions are decently tight right now, but I can already feel... Whoa. It's like sandy right now. Whoa, this feels really nice. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. This feels really nice. Okay, so the magnets are definitely on the weak side. Um, comparing to the GAN XS, this is actually, it's a sandy feeling. I can hear that. And this is, that's the GAN XS. No adjustable magnet system, of course. You wouldn't expect anything from a $10 puzzle. And the $10 puzzle still has the dual adjustment. So let's actually take a look at that really, really quick. The center cap comes off, and then you get this system right here. So you basically just insert your tool like that. It just kind of sits right on top, and then... Oh, 
Okay, looks like there are eight different settings. Default is the loosest? This is the loosest? Are you kidding me? That is sick. Oh my goodness. I really, really like this puzzle. Oh my goodness, there's no spring noise on mine. It's a matte finish. Um, it's a little bit different from the GAN. I'm gonna go ahead and get a cube that actually doesn't have the matte plastic so you can sort of see the difference. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here is the MGC Elite puzzle. And if you can sort of see, yeah, it's a little, it's a shiny sort of a finish there. But yeah, as you can sort of see, this is a matte finish. And then this one as well. Um, with the GAN or with any of these cubes, the more you use it, the more the matte finish is gonna come off. The magnets are definitely weaker than these. And these magnets are set to weak, and I love weak magnets. Weak magnets are definitely my thing. Wait, let's take a look at the shades really quick. So the shades, let's compare those to the GAN shades because I know a lot of people really like the GAN shades. All right, here we go. So let's turn this around, make sure. So I don't know if you can sort of see, they're similar, honestly, very, very similar. Look at this. Obviously the GAN has the black internals, which a lot of people love, but the color scheme itself is quite similar. The yellows are a little bit different. It's a little bit more vibrant, so. Wow. I mean, oh, maybe it's just in this light because there's a lamp right over here. But yeah, you know, it is a little different shade of yellow right there. So that's interesting. Um, wow. So far, this, this cube, oh wait, by the way, it does feel a lot heavier. Um, ooh, about the same weight, maybe a tiny bit heavier, the, the RS3. And I have to say the corner cutting is not as good as the GAN. I don't know if I can clearly demonstrate that. That's line to line. Very, very effortless. Pass line to line. Pretty effortless. This, let's try 45. I haven't actually tested corner cutting. Ooh, lots of force to corner cut. So that is an issue. Um, This is the loosest setting as well. So the corner cutting is not gonna get better than this. But honestly, this puzzle feels extremely, extremely good. Also, guys, my OCD is killing me. That sticker placement is going to bother me for the rest of my days. Let's see if we can actually take out a piece. Oh my goodness, this is tight. Oh, do you see that? So look, it's easily openable, the edges. So you can definitely add some more magnets and make them stronger. This cube is really, really good. I would expect this cube to be like a $30 cube. So the fact that you're getting this for $10 on speedcubeshop.com, it's just epic. So I do understand why some people are moving to this. This. This is a slight more bumpy feel because the magnets are like a little bit stronger. Okay, these, the magnets are really weak. It's a little bit more clacky if you're turning fast, but you can go freaking fast, man. Um, I did loosen it quite a bit, so you can see it stretches a lot more now. I loosened the screw in the middle, like half a turn, and then I kept this light blue thingy on the, on the weakest setting. It's borderline uncontrollable, but when you can control it, if I can learn to control this thing, this has the potential to be a super, super fast cube. Also, spring noises started coming in right after I ended my recording previously, so um, let me know, guys, if do you want me to make a video on how to fix spring noises in your cubes, I will go ahead and make one. Um, you're gonna need a special type of lube that's like a more gooey lube. It's, um, it's, I don't know if it's core lubricant, it's like peace lubricant, but not like Martian or Luna, because that's way too liquidy. You want a more gooey type of lube, like Speed, uh, speed Lube Weight 1 or something like that. Um, and you're gonna need to take off the center caps and stuff, but I will go into that in a different video if you guys want it. So, this cube is way faster than the GAN, but the GAN is controllable, it's a little bit more quiet. Oh my goodness, I can barely control either. <laughs> the GAN I control a bit better. The GAN does have these black internals, which makes it kind of look endless in there, which looks really cool. This one, not as cool, but... 
it's not really the look. Oh yeah, so that was the unboxing. Um, the RS3M, um, as I mentioned, he used to have a sort of lid opening box and then they cut down production costs so they can make more money. Um, I didn't mention the story. Actually, this is story time with Boss Bassoon about the RS3M. So the RS3M is from a company called Moyu and then their sub-brand called the uh, Mofang Jiaoshi, which most people say Mofang Jiaoshi. It's like really Americanized way to pronounce Chinese. Um, but yeah, the, I'll just say Mofang Jiaoshi because that's probably what most of you guys know. But Mofang Jiaoshi, um, what they did, they released the budget cubes mostly, I think. I think just budget cubes. And one 3x3 three three cube that what they were really known for was the MF3 RS2. Um, everyone loved that cube. It was around the same $10 price range. And um, when Moyu announced that they were going to make an MF3 RS3, which is the successor to that MF3 RS2, um, that everyone really enjoyed, everyone was super excited. But when the MF3 RS3 uh, version 1 was released, it was sort of a letdown. Um, people were saying, yeah, it's good, but it's not and the improvement we were looking for based on this super great MF3 RS2. That was like a year ago about. Now it is 2020 and Moyu's like, okay, that was a letdown. So we're gonna create the RS3M 2020 edition. So it's basically a successor to the MF3 RS3, but they just took out the MF3 at the beginning and they just called it the RS3M 2020 edition. And this is this cube right here. It comes in at $9 compared to this $15 cube. So they already cut down $6 of pricing there. Um, they made, they gave it the matte plastic, which really high-end cubes have. They gave it a dual adjustment system, um, which no cube at this price range has. And Moyu was like, okay, let's bring it on. Let's release this to the public and let's see what they think. So obviously the public again was like, okay, you know, um, let's experiment with this cube. Um, let's see how it is. And wow, everyone in the whole world was shocked. Because if you try this cube and you try this one, you can already tell that this is ridiculous for only $9. But anyway, Moyu was like, okay, we made it way too cheap. Because obviously they had a chance to really make a lot more money with this cube because this is like sold out everywhere. And that is the reason why they changed the box so they can save some production costs, make more money off of this, because this is like one of the best cubes on the market right now. So anyway, that is story time. And now for my thoughts on these two cubes. Okay, let's start off with the GAN 356XS. I've had this cube for, I don't know how long, a couple weeks maybe. Um, my adjustment systems, I have magnets on light, so they'll both be on light magnets. Um, I have the center thing that switch to the dark blue on number two and a clear thing on number five there'll be a picture to show you what i mean and honestly this cube right now is a stable sort of more controllable feel um i have the core sort of pretty stable so not very flexible um and then the magnets on weak so it's sort of the layers sort of glide a little bit easier and i don't have to spend as much effort sort of turning um so i'm a light magnet person so yeah, the GAN is just, it's really, really light. It's ridiculously light. This is 68 grams and this is 80 something. I don't know the exact grams, but I'll be popped up on the screen as well. Um, but yeah, this is super light cube. Um, the, the turning style is a little bit more bumpy because of the magnet strength. The light magnets on this cube are still stronger than the light magnets on this one. Um, it's a little bit more bumpy, but it's it's stable. It can be flexible if you choose to. And then obviously it has adjustable magnets, which is always nice. But the main difference between these two cubes is this one is 60 and this one is nine. So let's go ahead and talk about the $9 cube. Most people are wondering, why am I comparing a $9 cube to a $60 cube? And the most main reason is just because this is phenomenal. Um, as I was talking about earlier, the outside plastic is the same sort of feel. Um, the layers actually are smoother. So just turning a single layer um, feels smoother than the GAN cube. So it has a little bit of a different sound feel to it. Um, it's a little bit more crispy. The corner cutting on this, you can hear that loud snap as on the GAN. Oh my goodness. So it's not as big of a snap. Um, I can, the GAN actually corner cuts really well during your solves, the RS3M, is, um, it's a little bit more snappy, which is a sort of a fresh breath of air, but honestly, it's turning is just so smooth for being $9, um, but that's the main things I have to say about these two cubes, 
Um, they feel different in general. Um, I, uh, this one is more bulky and heavy, and some people like that because it feels makes it have a more controllable feel to it. Um, but the GAN is just like, airy, a little bit bumpy. Um, this is like crispy, a little bit more weight to it, so that's the sort of determining factor, I would say. Also, if you're not a light magnet person, you have to add in magnets yourself. But yeah, um, this video is getting way too long, actually. None of my cubing videos are this long, but um, I guess from now on, I'm not going to be manning the RS3M because there are things I still like about the GAN XS. I feel like the corner cutting and the layers just flow together super duper well. The cube is light, so um, when I cube for long periods of time, I get tired less easily. But for $9, there's no reason why you shouldn't pick up this cube um, and try it out for yourself because some people are preferring this over that. Um, so it's honestly up to you guys. On Speakube Shop, um, I think their magnet kit is sold out, but on the cubicle, which I haven't actually purchased from, but I've heard on the cubicle.com, there is a RS3M Plus, which they add in stronger magnets for you. So you can definitely pick that up. I'll leave links for Speakube Shop if you want to support Speakube Shop, or um, the cubicle as well, because I feel like you know, all the shops are just awesome. But yeah, anyway guys, that wraps up this really long video. There's so much to say about this new and really exciting cube. It has just um, a dual adjustment system you only see on higher end cubes. And then the feel of the plastic is just phenomenal. And honestly, one last thing, my mom, I gave her both of these cubes and she told me that she thought the RS3M was the more expensive $60 puzzle and she thought the GAN XS was the less expensive $9 puzzle. So honestly, I think anyone who gets this cube is not going to hate it. It's definitely something I would recommend you picking up, so I'll definitely leave links to the cubicle as well as Speakube Shop down in the description below. So anyway guys, hope you enjoy. I'm going to do some more solves on these. I'm going to read a little bit. I don't know what to do because the power is out. But yeah, thank you so much guys for watching, and yeah, see you next time on Bulbasoon.